Hello Taurus, welcome uh, to your general monthly reading. Taurus, Sun on rising, Venus entering off note. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, Taurus, this is a collective message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Taurus, what do we have for you for the month of August? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and of Note, Taurus, Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. The Death Card and Knight of Cups with the three of swords five of pen five of swords excuse me six of pentacles judgment uh you might be dealing with scorpio we have very strong scorpio well someone here wants to apologize Doris. For some of you, it might be a family member or relative. Uh, for some of you, this is like a person with whom you were in a relationship, but things ended between the two of you. Ten of Cups, the Death card. Yeah, this person, it's still stuck on you. Oh, it's like they cannot let go, they cannot move on. And they want to apologize. And it might be a family member relative okay or friend who feels like family you know or indeed a, a person with whom you are in a relationship but that knight of cups wants to apologize for breaking your heart this is someone who broke your heart who caused this uh, emotional dissatisfaction and disappoint disappointment yeah we have judgment they want to revisit the past. They want to talk about the situation. They want to resurrect this. Um, six of pentacles, five of swords. This person was very manipulative. Very argumentative. It's like they, I feel this is someone who was giving you attention and time only when it was convenient for them and they always had some sort of excuse and every time when you wanted to address something this person was shifting this whole narrative and you felt maybe a little bit even guilty asking that's 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 manipulation this is someone here who uh, was very manipulative they were playing mind games mm-hmm they do want to talk about this situation, Taurus. Show me more, please. Oh, we have two of pentacles here as well. It feels like they were juggling you with another situation for some of you. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting someone here who's been very indecisive very inconsistent who was changing mind they mind uh who was changing their mind um a lot show me more please ten of wands temperance sagittarius energy three of pentacles and we have seven of wands overall energy for this part of the reading wow the hierophant ace of cups and two of cups okay so you might be dealing with another taurus taurus ten of wands there is something here i feel at the moment that is very draining very tiring and exhausting and it feels like you are by your own with that particular situation or obstacle or issue or problem. Um, for some of you, you have a lot on your plate at the moment, Taurus. And it's like um, 
certain situation feels like a burden or it's heavily waiting, waiting on your shoulders. I feel for a lot of you it might be a case that you have so many responsibilities and you just want to find balance. You want to have time to sit down and just have a cup of tea, you know. I feel you really want things to be just... There is something here about harmony, tranquility, normality, balance. And I feel that's what you want. So just things to calm down, essentially. There is some sort of need of moderation here as well, Taurus. Regarding particular approach. For some of you, you are dealing here with someone who's been very stubborn. For it might be your workplace with the three of pentacles and it's like there is something here about this person that they are not letting you uh, to express your ideas and the thing is with the three of pentacles that you know exactly what you're talking about and you are full of good ideas but it's like this person is blocking it's blocking opportunities or just you know you feel that um, you are unable to express something with the seven of wands page of swords but they don't have problem listening to your ideas though it's like i feel this okay what i mean by this with the page of swords i feel this person is very curious about what you think about particular things and they want you to know your opinion but it's like they want to know it for themselves in order for you for instance to kind of share it with a larger group of people that's a completely different story and that's what i was getting mm -hmm. i feel that you're going to detach from this person because we had six of swords oh it's like you're going to try to be quite distant you know mm -hmm. overall energy we have the hierophant ace of cups and two of cups it feels here taurus that during this month uh an offer of commitment is showing up for you someone wants to be in a serious relationship with you taurus or if you've been dating someone new or if you've been dating someone uh, this person wants to take it to the next level and they want both of you to be an item to go official to be in a relationship to be a couple okay let's see could you please show me love life for Taurus for the Hierophant for the month of August page of swords the tower the sun six of swords and the two of swords you might be dealing indeed with another taurus we have more scorpio we have aries and leo well taurus um expect the unexpected and i know that it might sound cliche but that's what they're showing here um someone is very curious if you want to be in a relationship with them and unexpectedly because that it's a surprise in with regards to this context of this reading unexpectedly uh, i'm getting here that this person is going to reach out and they will ask you if you want to be in a relationship with them and it will be quite shocking <laughs> it will be quite surprising for sure but it will change things but it feels like it will change things for the better because the sun it's bringing clarity and also happiness joy is the most positive card or kind of positive also optimistic the most optimistic card in the deck so uh it's like a very nice surprise that's what i am getting six of swords and two of swords however i'm not seeing you making this decision uh immediately 
because it might feel like it is a double-edged situation maybe you'll feel like you are at the crossroads and you have your reasons uh, six of swords there is also here something about distance for some of you it might be a long distance situation or long distance relationship but for some reason Taurus I feel that you might feel like oh, I need to think about this uh, it is a double-edged sword situation I feel like I'm at the crossroads yeah I'm not seeing you rushing into things but someone here uh, will bring a surprise <laughs> Taurus could you please show me an advice for Taurus for the month of August please It feels like you don't expect this. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles. The Moon. The hanged man, four of, mm -hmm, four of wands and ace of wands. So you might be dealing with Pisces. I also have Cancerian energy. Yeah, I feel that you know the advice here is to, for you to take your time, to not rush into things. I feel that you are still healing from a particular situation represented by the ten of swords. And it's important for you to um, to take as much time as you need in order to fully heal from it there is something here also Taurus about energy energy and I feel that it's been ongoing situation regarding particular connection where you you feel that you are giving so much energy and can be friendship okay it is a dynamic between you and someone else Oh, it can be something to do with a family member relative please take it how it resonates and um, I, I, I I'm seeing you putting so much energy but it is it feels disproportional what I mean by this I don't feel that this person is giving ma giving back the same amount of energy that you are putting into this connection and if that's the case I feel that you've been called here to uh, to essentially stop doing this because there is uh, imbalance, um, there is something here about equal give take, and it's not being honored by another person. And it's it's not fair towards you, you to put so much emotion and you know effort into something where this person is giving a bit. And the thing is, I feel that you don't know why is why it's happening that way. Mm -hmm. And if I feel Torres, Torres, that you've been, you've been, you've been called here to essentially reevaluate this whole situation, and to, and if something feels off or not right, to just adjust that amount of effort that you are putting regarding particular situation and to essentially match this person's energy so if they are putting a little bit then yeah let's do the same you know I feel that it's just essentially it's quite difficult for me to explain it but I feel that you know what I mean it's it's essentially to put the same effort and energy as this person is doing because Again, I, I'm seeing you putting so much effort and I feel that there are moments when you are tired, you don't understand why this person is like this and uh, you feel defeated. And what I am getting here that you need to look at the situation from a different perspective and it has to stop. It doesn't mean that you have to, for instance, if it's a friend, it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, um, end this friendship. No, not at all. But... to put the same amount of energy that's important 
to this connection. We have the hanged man four of wands and ace of wands, yeah. The main message here is to take your time, to not rush into things. And it also applies when it comes to particular connection, relationship, four of wands, and the ace of wands, that action. So it's quite strong and clear message here, Taurus, to take your time, to take your time, to not rush into things. What it's yours, it won't pass you by essentially. Mm -hmm. Could you please show me three final cards for Taurus? For the month of August, we have the full. The Hanged Man, an Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, the Magician, and Nine of Wands. You might be dealing with Pisces, we have Aquarius, Aries, Virgo, Gemini. Well, it feels here that you will have an opportunity for a new beginning in love. Someone here is coming with an offer of love. And also can be a piece, okay? Yeah, you, for some of you, this is about two situations, Taurus. Someone wants to have a new beginning in love with you. And someone is coming with an offer of love. And in the, in the middle we have the hanged man. Take your time. Take your time, Taurus in order to make decision regarding those particular particular two two situations okay that's what they're showing they will show up for you but take your time because as an overall energy nine of swords suggests that someone gave you a headache someone caused unnecessary and anxiety worry stress Nine of Wands uh, indicates here that I feel that you don't trust this particular person. You have your guard up. But Magician indicates that they will try to do everything for you to, to stop holding back. It's like someone here who gave you a headache and they are now stressing, up, stressing out over this connection, will try to do everything for you to, to be more open, to welcome them back. The question is, you know, how you feel about this, if you want this. I feel that either way, irrespective of this person who wants to fix the situation, um, who wants to apologize for breaking your heart here, Taurus, or this person who wants to come forward and offer you that, um, you know, that relationship. The main thing when it comes to this reading regarding this month, Taurus, is for you to take your time. To not rush into things. Okay? That's the main message here, Taurus. And then, when you are sure, make your decision. Because it feels that those people are not going anywhere. This person is stuck on you, the other one really wants relationship with you. So, again, what it's yours won't pass you by, Taurus. Take your time, take your time. Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.